Synthetic garbage Gatorade contains Red 40, Yellow 5, and a whole bunch of other gnarly stuff. I mean, the ingredients on this are insane. Nature's Gatorade. This is so much better. Look at these fruit juices, guys, that I just made. Watermelon juice, red Gatorade, orange juice, orange Gatorade, pineapple juice, yellow Gatorade, and coconut water that is clear, Nature's Gatorade. So many people, I think, today fear fruit juice. We fear the sugars in here. We've been told this is just sugar water. But if you look at the medical evidence, that isn't the case at all. Every single one of these things has been studied in humans and found to be beneficial. There are other types of Nature's Gatorade that I don't even have here because I don't even have them here in Costa Rica to make the juice. Cherry juice would be another type of red Nature's Gatorade. That's been shown to lower inflammatory metrics like CRP. Grape juice, purple Gatorade, man, that would look good in this lineup, but I don't have any grapes in Costa Rica to make the juice there. That's also been shown to decrease the propensity, the likelihood that your LDL molecules are gonna get oxidized. And what we know is that when LDL gets into that vessel wall, your cardiovascular risk is elevated if that LDL gets oxidized. What increases the risk of LDL getting oxidized in your endothelium inside your blood vessels? Linoleic acid from seed oils. But that's for a different video. This video is about beautiful nature's Gatorade and not this kind of garbage. But you can see what the manufacturers are trying to do here. They're putting red 40, they're putting yellow 5, they're putting synthetic fake dyes in here to confuse your brain and make it think it's one of these. The amount of carbohydrates in your diet is going to scale based on how active you are. I'm pretty active. I'm going to surf most days. I'm skating a lot. And so having fruit juice with good healthy carbohydrates that I know has been associated with all sorts of beneficial effects in humans is a critical part of my diet. Good electrolytes in here, healthy ways to get these electrolytes, things like potassium, magnesium, add a little bit of pinch of salt in there, get some sodium in there. That's so much better than this stuff. This is what your brain really wants. These are where the nutrients are. I'm going to take you guys upstairs and show you how I make all these juices. Let's go. The orange juice, it's really simple. I just take organic oranges that I get at the market. I cut them in half and then I put them in this press and I press them by hand. There's nothing else added. It's just orange juice. And you get a little bit of a workout when you're making the orange juice. Bonus, so you get a little bit of a pump with the orange juice. And I'm like tensing my abs ugh, as I'm making the orange juice here to get the full orange juice workout. When I talk about orange juice, sometimes people say that's just sugar water. It's not good for humans but the medical literature would suggest otherwise. There's interventional trials in humans showing that orange juice improves triglycerides, it lowers triglycerides, and it improves metrics of insulin resistance in obese diabetic humans. There's also evidence that orange juice consumption will improve metrics of inflammatory markers in white blood cells, and it improves endothelial function. So all sorts of benefits to this apparent sugar water, which is much more complex than simply sugar water. There's simply no evidence that fruit juice or fruit causes diabetes or worsens diabetes in humans. So I think of this as a very valuable thing for humans, even without the fiber in the orange, which I don't think is that great for humans in the first place, this orange juice is very valuable and plenty of studies show this in humans. So this is how I make watermelon juice. In the juicer it goes and that's basically it. I mean, look at that, just pure, amazing deliciousness. I don't leave it in this plastic container long. I'll transfer it to some glass in a moment. I so love watermelon juice. It is one of the most refreshing juices out there, full of potassium. It's got some magnesium, add a little salt if you want some sodium in there. People again will sometimes say, oh, it's just sugar water. No, watermelon juice never been shown to be harmful to humans. No fruit juice has ever been shown to be harmful for humans. In fact, like I said, with orange juice, plenty of studies showing they improve insulin sensitivity and triglycerides in humans. They improve endothelial function. Lycopene found in watermelon juice and incidentally in egg yolks has been shown to be beneficial for humans in so many ways when given in interventional trials. So don't fear juice. And this is way better than any sort of processed garbage Gatorade. Last thing on watermelon juice, you should also know that watermelon juice has been studied in humans found to lower blood pressure, improve endothelial function, just like orange juice, and improve levels of nitric oxide. People get super geeked about beet juice because of the nitric oxide and potentially improvements in athletic function or erections, but I'd rather drink watermelon juice for the L-citrulline, the improved nitric oxide, the improved blood flow. This is like nature's natural Viagra. This is better than beetroot juice. I'm not a fan of beet juice because it's full of oxalates. Those contribute to kidney stones. And this tastes way freaking better. Pineapple juice is next. So I just cut this pineapple up for an Instagram reel. But what I did is I pulled off the top and then I cut along the sides. These were all here. I cut them off. I cut off the top and the bottom and I'm left with the center of the pineapple. Now, a lot of people get rid of this center piece right here, but you want to keep that 
That's where the bromelain is. That's where the most bromelain is. And the outside of the fruit has some bromelain, but I'm gonna juice this part too. So you can really get the bromelain from a pineapple and the juice the best when you're juicing this, because that's a very woody part of the pineapple. You don't really wanna chew that. It's not very palatable like the outside of the fruit. Bromelain has been studied in humans in all sorts of disease models, improves cardiovascular function, lowers blood pressure, improves platelet function by decreasing propensity of platelets to aggregate and form clots, improves gut health probably. It's been shown to potentially be protective against E. coli and Vibrio cholera. Those are pathogenic organisms in the gut. A lot of benefits from bromelain and you get it in the center part of the pineapple. So I'm gonna cut this up, then juice it, and I'll show you guys how I do this for yellow Gatorade pineapple. In the juicer it goes. Yellow, nature's Gatorade, fresh squeezed pineapple juice. Tons of bromelain in there, look at that. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the coconut lime, the clear Gatorade. You start with a coconut, preferably in nature's can, like this. Some people open the coconut by putting a straw through one of these eyes on this side. I think it's more interesting just to crack it this side with the back of a knife. Look, it pops right off just like a Coke can. Then you collect your fresh coconut water and then you squeeze some lime in there. That looks like a orange, but it's actually a mandarina in Costa Rica. It's like a lemon lime type of thing. And there you go. Cheers to that. That is coconut lime. That is clear nature's Gatorade. Coconut juice, coconut water, valuable for humans. Potassium, it's a great source of magnesium. People always ask me where I get magnesium on an animal-based diet. Well, you know there's magnesium in animal meat and animal organs. There's also a good amount of magnesium in raw milk, but coconut water is a great source of magnesium as well. So potassium, magnesium, and if I really wanna to top this off, I'll just put a little bit of extra salt in there. Hold on. Salt stays in the fridge in Costa Rica because there's a lot of humidity here. So if you really wanna make the best Clear Gatorade, throw a little bit of salt in there with your lemon, your lime. When I was a kid, they made clear Pepsi and clear Coke. They make clear Gatorade now. They have some kind of weird name for it, but that's way better. Clear nature's Gatorade, cheers guys. I showed you how to make natural Gatorade. We got coconut lime, clear Gatorade, pineapple, that is yellow Gatorade, fresh squeezed orange juice, orange Gatorade, and we got watermelon juice, that is red Gatorade. Look at it, it just looks beautiful. And I think that we shouldn't discount the fact that it looks beautiful. In our brains, we have programs that sort of help us understand what humans are meant to eat intuitively. There's an incredibly interesting study in vegetarians where they put electrodes on the heads of vegetarians and omnivores. One group of people doesn't eat meat and one group of people eats meat. What they show is that in the cortical regions of the brain, these sort of conscious regions of the brain where we form our opinions about things, vegetarians may have an aversion to meat. But in the deeper regions of the brain, in the brainstem, we find that obviously omnivores like meat in the cortical regions and in the deep regions of our brain. But even vegetarians and vegans who shun meat and believe that they don't like meat, the deeper regions of their brain like meat. The deeper regions of their brain respond positively to pictures of meat. I believe it's the same with these fruit juices. These are colorful and sweet for a reason. They're telling us, Come eat these fruit. Obviously the plant is trying to entice you to eat the fruit to spread the seeds, but it's not in the plant's best interest to put a bunch of defense chemicals in the fruit. And if you look at the medical literature, there's really no evidence that fruit juices are bad for you. So nature's Gatorade, way better than regular Gatorade. And I know you guys are probably using electrolyte drinks in the gym. These are the best options for that. Way better than what you're using now. It's probably in plastic, it's probably synthetic. It's got all kinds of garbage in it that you don't want way better than regular energy drinks, Monster, Red Bull, whatever. You don't want that stuff in your life, all kinds of garbage in there. This is what you should be drinking for energy, pre-workout, post-workout, and just getting carbohydrates and electrolytes in your life in general. This is the way to do it, don't fear it. If this content is valuable for you guys, please like, subscribe, follow me on all the socials, and we'll be doing lots more content like this soon. Now, I'm gonna be super hydrated. I'm gonna pee like crazy tonight because I'm gonna drink all these right now.